God bless each and one of you. Welcome to this video. Today we're going to talk about beware for the false prophets. And we're going to go to Jude starting with verse 17 to verse 23. In the name of God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. But dear friends, remember what the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ foretold. They said to you, in the last times there will be scoffers who will follow their own ungodly desires. These are the people who divide you, who follow mere natural instincts and do not have the spirit. But you, dear friends, by building yourselves up in, your, in the most holy faith and praying in the Holy Spirit, keep yourselves in God's love as you wait for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ to bring you to eternal life. Be merciful to those who have doubt. Save others by snatching them from the fire to others. Show mercy mixed with fear. Hating even the clothed, clothing stained by corrupted flesh. Amen. Brothers and sisters, how to know if there's a false prophet is looking at their fruit. It says in Galatians chapter 5, talks about the fruit of the Spirit. And it's a very important book, a very important chapter, because now in these dark days, no one is being in the old ancient path. No one is being in the spirit anymore, okay? So I'm going to read this quickly to you. In the name of God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, amen. I'm going to start it off with verse 16, and we'll read. So I say, walk by the spirit, and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. For the flesh desires what is contrary to the spirit, and the spirit what is contrary to the flesh. They are in conflict with each other. So what you are not to do, whatever you want. But if you are led by the Spirit, you are under. You are not under the law. The acts of the flesh are obvious. Sexual immorality, impurity, and the debauchery, idolatry, and witchcraft, hatred, discord, jealousy, fits of rage, selfish ambition, dissensions, factions, and envy, drunkenness, orgies, and the like. I warn you, as I did before, that those who live like this will not inherit the kingdom of God. So we're going to stop right here at verse 20, 21. Because right here it tells you, all, the, all these people who commit these sins will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Which is very important because we are living in the last hours. We are living in the last days. And we have to get prepared and ready for that day. Because if we don't, we will be left behind. Okay. But look what verse 23 says. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against, against such thing there is no law. Those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with his possessions and desires. Since we live by the Spirit, let us keep in step with the Spirit. Let us not become conceited, provoking, and envying each other. Amen. Okay, so this was Galatians chapter 5, verse 16. Verse 16, all the way to verse 25. And these are some powerful verses, so was in Jude, that talks about beware for the false prophets. Right now, in these last days, we need to be careful. Why? Because God wants us getting ready and right with Him. And us, the, the people who preach, and spread his word, which should be all Christians, as long as you have a relationship with Christ and obeying the word of God, we should be speaking the truth and not the lies. You know, in these days, there's a lot of people who are speak, preaching a lot of false things about God's love, but also about God's wrath over sin. Because remember, God loves the sinner, but he don't love the sin. Remember, he's holy. So when you hear something in the Old Testament talk about death or because of the sin, you have to remember if it was because of, against the Israelites and anything like that, it was because of their sin and God already knew their hearts. God knows each one of our hearts. He's the one who made us. Our body was made from the dust and the dirt of the ground. And God breathed into our lungs. God breathed into us. And that was in Genesis. And let's know this. God wants us being more like him. And not like the world. God keeps saying this. And remember, God is coming back soon. Just picture yourself walking to a bunch of doors. 
and you tell each person about Jesus, and I was coming back and to get ready. And then, you know, throughout a lot of doors, there's some people who accept the Christ, and there's most of them then. And at the very end of the door, they slam in front of your face. And then you come to Jesus praying, and then you'll be like, Lord, not everyone accepted you. And then, you know, you ask that everyone to write their name on this piece of paper. But then Jesus tells the preacher, write your name on the piece of paper. Brothers and sisters, we have to get right with God now. And it's not just the people who don't believe, but it's the believers inside the church. And brothers and sisters, we got to beware of the false preachers and the false prosperities and the false things that a lot of people are saying. We are to be led by the Spirit of God. Amen? Praise God. We are to be led by the Spirit of God and the words of God to be touched by our mouth. How are we supposed to be spiritual in these dark times? By prayer, by fasting, by spiritual growth. Spiritual growth, fasting. You and Him interceding for so many lives, praying for lives to be saved so that when God comes, that they are prepared, okay? God wants each one of us prepared when he comes. But if we're not ready, what then? So God is telling each one of us to get ready now. And it says right here in verse 24, Those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with his passions and the sides. That means we stop the ungodliness and we start serving God. We stop sinning and we start doing what is right and what is holy. And then look what it says after. Since we live by the Spirit, since we live by God's rules and laws, let us keep in step with the Spirit. Let us keep obeying the Word of God and obeying His ways. Let us not become conceited, provoking, and envying each other. Brothers and sisters, there's so many people who are telling others, you know, exposing and all that, but even them are not in the Spirit. And there's a lot of people right now, you know, and these days, there's a lot of false teachers exposing these false teachers, but they don't know that they're false teachers themselves. And sometimes they don't even have a relationship with Christ, which is really dangerous. Um, brothers and sisters, we have to remember Christ died on the cross for all people. Not all people can be forgiven. Let's keep on praying so chains can be broken in the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless each one of you. And remember, Jesus loves you.